Hi, I'm Rick, founder and president of A Fair Recovery. Today, I want to talk about going it alone. When A Fair Recovery was conceived, our goal was to help individuals and couples impacted by infidelity to find new lives of meaning and purpose. The journey Steph and I had traveled in our recovery let us both see how the pain created by my infidelity could actually be used as a catalyst to transform us personally as well as transform our marriage. That journey, however, as I've learned through the years, it takes three. It was her, it was me, and it was us. The crisis precipitated by my extreme selfishness served as a personal motivation to discover what had driven that behavior and to make sure that I was never that person again. To my surprise, Stephanie also allowed the pain created by my actions to serve as a catalyst for her and her personal transformation as she began to explore what her own self-limiting behaviors had been and places that she had brought into the marriage, childhood strategies she developed, and to transform those. Together, we used that opportunity provided by my stupidity to address the limiting problems in our marriage. But that actually took all three of us working in conjunction. Regrettably, that's not always the case. In some cases, the spouse who strayed may feel guilt and remorse over their actions. They may even decide to stop the behavior. But that's not the same as doing the personal work necessary for personal transformation, addressing issues that they may have had, strategies they brought in from their own childhood. Whether or not a person relapses there's little hope for change in a marriage relationship if that other person doesn't do the work and it leaves the betrayed spouse facing a really bleak future in their marriage. They may not be betrayed again, but it doesn't feel as if the marriage changes. In other cases, the betrayed spouse may see what their mate needs to do to allow them to feel safe, but they fail to use the pain as a catalyst for their own personal transformation. The injustice and disappointment of life circumstances leave them unwilling to do the work necessary for their own personal growth, which then leaves the wayward spouse facing a bleak future. There are some situations where one spouse chooses to leave the marriage, giving the other spouse no option, such as the case in my daughter's life when her husband left her for another woman. Some face circumstances where they're abandoned by friends and family in their time of need. One of our alum couples tells the story of how at the time of discovery, the betrayed wife's mother who was injured by her father was in the hospital in a coma. At the same time, several of her friends sat down with her and told her that if she didn't leave her husband, they would have nothing to do with her. They took a tough love approach. And as she tells the story, she's sitting at her mom's bedside, thinking about what they had said to her and just the pain of not only what her husband had done, but feeling abandoned by her friends. When she suddenly remembered a time when she was 16 years old and her dad had had an extreme fit of rage and she told her mom, if you don't leave him, mom, um, I'll never have anything else to do with you. And when she connected that memory with what her friends had done, she looked at her mom and she said, oh, mom, who is in a coma, by the way, I am so, so sorry that I did that to you. I'm so sorry. And I didn't understand, but it's really complicated. It's very complicated. And she said her mom opened her eyes and glanced at her and she said, I know she heard me. And it is complicated how we go through this and at times we are abandoned. 
in cases such as these and countless others, um, tragically, people have to go through recovery alone. But, and I believe this is an absolutely huge but, all's not lost for those going it alone, even though much will be lost for those who choose not to do the work. They will stay forever stuck. What I've witnessed through the years is those going it alone have the ability, they still have the ability to develop the necessary agency to create a new life, an extraordinary life of meaning and purpose, regardless even of what happens to the marriage. As we say at A Fair Recovery, my mate is never my problem. My mate only reveals the problem in me. The past two years, I've been amazed watching my daughter's journey after she was abandoned by her husband. He gave her no choice. She had to go it alone. In spite of the extreme hurt and psychological damage caused by his actions, she chose to focus on her personal healing and her personal growth. She chose not to let the bitterness and resentment rule her life, but rather use that pain of betrayal as a motivation to work on overcoming her own self-limiting behaviors. And I hope you don't mind me using my daughter as an example, but she's been an amazing example to me. She developed the agency necessary to determine how she sees herself rather than being defined by life circumstances and what her former spouse did. She developed a whole new self-confidence. She restored old behaviors that once brought life to her, such as music. She began giving to others. She overcame her own self-limiting behaviors that she had developed in childhood, thanks to her mom and I, I'm pretty sure, to become a strong woman with a new and bright future in front of her. She decided to stop trying to seek love and instead sought to discover the barriers she had erected against it. She developed the agency necessary to understand that she couldn't control others or her environment, but she did have the ability to navigate the situations in her life and that she would be okay. If you're one of those stuck in a situation where you do have to go it alone, my heart, it breaks for you. I hate your partner failed to make the choice to do the work to join you in a journey of personal transformation. But please hear me. It in no way limits you doing the necessary work to build a new life of meaning and purpose. And at some point, you have to quit focusing on what won't be and begin to develop what can be. Make the choice for your own healing. Perhaps your example will be enough to change your mate, but if not, you can still find that new life to healing.